How's it going out there in uh, Pyro land? This is uh, Joyful Pyro just making a quick video about some e-match safety. I've seen um, a few posts on the forum. Uh, let me let this e-match here focus a little bit. And so what I wanted to show is if you have an e-match where the uh, shroud is coming back some, exposing the actual uh, chemical here, and you want to stop that shroud from uh, coming back, and let that get back into focus. All right. All you do is carefully pull that shroud back up to the top and in between your pointer finger and thumb or whichever way you feel like, just give that, holding the, uh, the uh, wire and the shroud, just give it a twist, maybe a couple of times. And as you can see, we'll let this focus in a little. Alright, let's see if it focuses. All right, you can see I have a twist underneath the shroud. And so now, you can see that shroud is not coming back. It wiggles, but it is not coming back. But so, and just so you can see, I'm gonna get a length of wire, and I'm just gonna put a little force on this shroud, and you can see it actually bend the wire before that shroud comes back. I'm pulling and pushing on this, stra on this shroud. And that little twist that I put in there is stopping that shroud from coming um, coming back and I just wanted to show that so that way if you have a match that you pull out of the box and the uh, um, the actual chemical or compound is showing that's how you can stop that shroud from coming back and I'll untwist it and show you all that again and you could uh, and as you could see hopefully this alright you can see here so now there's the exposed match There's the exposed match. I apologize for the focus. It takes this thing a little bit. I have it on autofocus. Let's see if I come closer. There we go. I have it on autofocus. There's the exposed match. I am going to pull this shroud up over the match. Give it a twist between my pointer or index finger and thumb. I hope that's my index finger. We'll find out. Someone will correct me. And it doesn't have to. Just maybe a couple of twists just right under that shroud all right and now you see it right underneath the shroud and that shroud is not coming back that's all that's it that's to keep that shroud from coming back so um, I know a lot of talked about um, e matches being created so that the shroud can't come back well for those that have the shroud that do come back all you do is just give that wire a twist and um, you will be able to uh, um, stop that shroud from coming back. Now this is safe to insert into a shell or a uh, multi-shot box or cake. Um, what I'll show you here next, I'm gonna pause the video, but what I will show you here next is just um, if you have a uh, e-match port, one of these, most of the time you see them connected to a shell or a cake or something, and you have black match on the inside, um, on the inside of it um, and so when you stick your e-match in there it's not going all the way in all right so let me pause that I want to go ahead and get this set and then um, I'll restart the video all right so we're back guys and what I want to show you is all right let's see if I can angle this right all right you see my fuse on the inside here let's see if I can get it a little closer see I have fuse in there and typically what happens is when we go to stick our e-match in here it won't go all the way in because we have some fuse well typically what I do if that's the case I'll do a figure eight right over across the top of that match let's see if I can show that I'll do a figure eight and you can do a couple of them just to hold that match in the place there and I know this is a little sloppy and then of course you can do your half itch I know some just wrap it but I'm holding that match into place and uh, and as always you don't want to shove a match into 
Um, it's coming apart. All right, I guess I'll have to show you that again. All right, so I have, I'm going over across the top of that match to hold it in place. Now I'm just gonna do my half hitch over here. Now I do my half hitch, and I know some, there's my half hitch, and also I'm going across the top of that match to hold it in place so it's not coming out or anything like that. And this is in a case where I have some black match in there um, and it's not allowing my uh, E-match to um, some black match strands and it's not allowing my E-match to go all the way in to the uh, T-port. I just do me a figure eight going across the middle or the top of the match to hold it in place. I do a half hitch. Some like to uh, wrap theirs once they're done that's always great also um, but I just wanted to show that so in this video um, what I've shown is if you have uh, an e-match port with some black match in it just do your figure eight over the top of that uh, e-match don't shove it in just put it in ever so uh, gently do your figure eight over it half hitch or wrap it at with it whichever you like and then also um, I just showed if you have an e-match with the shroud that just keeps coming back just give it a twist and that will stop that e-match port from coming back. Just wanted to post this real quick, guys, to uh, uh, just show you some of the uh, little tips that I've learned from those who are very, uh, who are well, um, who have a lot more experience than I do. Thank you, and uh, have a great day.